Don't say I'm too deep, I'm in too deep to sleep Through me, Muhammad will forever speak Greek And you know, yes you know This is rap for real, something you feel And you know, yes you know This is rap for real, something you feel Hey, this is rap for real This is rap for yeah. real And you know, yes you know Why This so? is rap for the black people came to Muhammad Speaks newspaper in 1961. Eugene Majid, art director for the National Muslim Organization, explains the purpose of his artwork. You have to go back to an ancient saying about a oh, picture being worth a thousand words, so this Muhammad is well aware of the value of pictures and drawings, and so therefore uh, he uses that in getting across his program, and we think it's quite successful because the uh, Muhammad's newspaper has become the number one black newspaper in the country. And this is as a result of Mr. Muhammad's writings and illustrations regarding to this program. To me, Muhammad will forever speak Greek. Hey, this is rap. Hey, this is rap for yeah. real. And you know. Yes, you know. Why, this is rap for the black people. In addition to providing news with an international scope, Muhammad Speaks supplies Muslim and non-Muslim brothers with on-the-job training. Once more men are trained, the paper is planning to come out twice a week and ultimately daily. To me, Muhammad will forever speak. Only nine years old, Muhammad Speaks is now sold in the U.S., Canada, the Caribbean, and Africa. Hey, this is rap. Yeah. The newspaper, Muhammad Speaks, serves to inform, instruct, and link up the members spread across the country, and in addition, provides a source of income for maintaining and beginning other businesses. And you know, yes you know, Why, this is rap for the black people. At the recently acquired headquarters in Chicago, newspaper editor John Woodford describes the focus of the first weekly national black paper. We focus on all uh, news affecting black people whom we... Uh, considered to be every people in the you know so-called third world uh, the shade differentiations you know black brown red yellow we ignore since the whites ignore this kind of differentiation among them from the official pilot surveys we have a circulation of about I'd say close to 500,000 and we figure about six people would read every paper so this would get up towards three million and that's uh, considering we, that there are only 22, 25, or 30 million black people, this is you know, a pretty good circulation, although we ought to be up to about 6 or 7 million pretty soon. And you know, yes, you know, Why, this is rap for the black people. When people can't disprove the fact that we print the truth about certain matters, they usually tend to try to dismiss what we say by saying it's a bunch of religious fanatics taking positions out of dogma and so forth. Uh, they did this with Nigeria, they do it with population control. And this is an effort on their part to avoid the real issues we bring up. We are never told by anyone to take any position on a, on a matter. You know, we're, all we're told by Mr. Muhammad is to go out and find out what's happening and print the truth. In other words, he's confident that if we do this, uh, regardless of our own uh, religious or lack of religious beliefs. I mean, I'm, I am, uh, I'm not a, a Christian, but uh, I'm not formally in, in any religious group, but the fact that he would uh, let me be the editor shows that he's mainly interested in the news. And you know, yes you know, Why, this is rap for the black people. The news written in the editorial department by a basic staff of eight with correspondents around the world goes to the composing room. Equipped with the latest computers for setting type and other modern machinery, the entire cost came to over a quarter of a million dollars. This plant also contains facilities for film processing, negative preparation, and other artwork. The Muslims take pride in the fact that they ordered and paid for the entire operation within three months. And you know, yes, you know, Why, this is rap for the black people. In keeping with Muhammad Speaks policy of bringing to black America much of the truth which others dare not print, 
We published this statement made in the wake of the long, quote, long hot summer, end quote, and published first in the Vietnam Courier. After Vietnam came Detroit, Newark, Buffalo, Los Angeles, Milwaukee, Washington. The crash of guns resounds in American cities, shaken by the rumble of tanks. Men die whose only crime is to be born with a black skin. There is a so-called Negro problem in the United States. For us Vietnamese, there is much more than a Negro problem, an abstract, quote, problem among the thousands that beset our times. This letter, this open letter, uh, it, it brings to mind, I think, a couple of conversations I have had before. Um, where I, I think the there's like a lost connection between um, uh, Black America and and Viet like Vietnamese or the uh, or Asian a Asian America I guess, um, and I I feel like if we're not exposed to these uh, uh, these letters these viewpoints which you know. Uh, is readily available in, in a publication like Muhammad Speaks, which underlines its importance. And you know, yes, you know. One, two. Rap for the black people. Through me, Muhammad will forever speak.